we call Coffee with Tanya. We're, we're, we're doing this, I think, every Sunday now, weekly updates, uh, talking about mortgages and, and real estate. And um, does that make sense to you? Hello, Tanya. It's, uh, it's a pleasure seeing you again. And yes, it does make sense to me. It uh, seems like this is going to be another way of uh, conveying information. And uh, to be honest, I was just uh, looking forward to it. I really hope that we can continue doing this in the um, in time being. I think this is fun too. First of all, we, we learn something and then people can learn from um, our conversation, what's going on on the market. We have some good news uh, uh, from, from last week, talking about mortgages. We have some good news on, on the market as well. Uh, so let's, let's get started with mortgages. What yeah. is the good news since the last Sunday? Okay, so it was exciting week last week. Uh, as, all, as all you know, like the previous week, uh, CMHC announced the uh, tightening the rules regarding the GDS and TDS ratio. So they lower down their ratios to 35 and um, 42%. However, the other two insurance companies in Canada, Janeworth and Canada Guarantee, decided not to follow the CMHC. What this tells us, it's a good sign for the first, especially for the first time home buyer, especially for all the buyers out there, they're still going to have the same, the same purchase power that they had it before. So it's, it's an exciting news. Um, I still encourage all the buyers to get out there and uh, pretty much yeah. the first time home buyers who, been, who were the most affected based on these rules. And uh, it's, it's something that uh, it gives us a hope that the government again won't tighten the rules. So you're good to go. I'm, I'm just going to give you some feedback from our videos. I had a, my client who, uh, and, and her son is on the market to buy something. He is a first time home buyer. So after watching our video on YouTube, she called me and she was like, Tanya, please explain to me what's going on. Can, can my son borrow money from us? Can I give him money for a down payment? How that works? What the changes are? So it's interesting that people um, are ready to go on the market, as you said. Um, uh, we have uh, changes happening uh, on the mortgage side, on the on the re real estate side, and it's um, and it's getting really late spring <laughs> into Canada's real estate. Exactly. So the changes are coming, and they're going to be coming more often now. We, as the professionals, we do have to be ready and just act on it. Uh, I, I want to say that the biggest change that happened it was the decision that Genworth and Canada Guarantee made that. They, they decided not to follow CMHC. So now it just opened up the hands and then pretty much remained the same purchase power to all the buyers. I'm so happy about this, especially for the first time home buyers. In regards to your question about your client and the down payment, I want to point it out that the gifted down payment was never ever a question. It was always the borrowed down payment. So the bank of mom and dad it's always open. So keep using it and it, it's a it, it's good thing. And I hope it's going to stay there. Uh, I also want to say something about the interest rate. Uh, just want to let everybody know that the interest rate right now are at the historically low level. And this is the encouraging sign. This is the sign that I'm always telling all the buyers, even, even not the buyers, even the people who want to sell and buy something, upsize, downsize, whatever they do that now is the perfect time. If you have, to, if you have any kind of idea, like that you wanna jump on the market, now is gonna be the perfect time to do so. Um, I've seen a lot of activities lately on the market and I think that uh, a lot of activities is gonna, like, I think the market will pick it up sooner than later. I'm thinking that we will see in the summertime that you know, in the next month or two, we'll see much more activities coming. So, but all these, I'm gonna leave it to you. So please tell us, tell us about it. To be honest with you, I'm so excited because I'm getting more and more emails with the new listings coming up in Oakville and, and surrounding area. And um, it is, uh, if, if, I, if I look around uh, in a little bit north, uh, I would say um, Milton Guelph or, or Mississauga and Brampton, um, still we have people who are holding offers, so still we have a multiple offers um, on the properties. So I think there is a lot of buyers out there and then uh, more than happy to announce that we have more supplies coming. So that is promising to give us some more balanced market, which is uh, perfect for everybody. 
for for buyers and for sellers because in that case you can have everybody happy Thank you so much this was a great news the other things i'm going to just say here and just quickly interrupt uh i know you have a house coming up uh in oakville yes it's coming on the market well we're we're ready we're ready so house will be probably listed in in the next couple of days Okay, so the next uh, next uh, Sunday, what I want to hear a bit about the new regulation, how you did open house. I guess you have all the regulations, how the people can see it and how they can uh, yes. interact with the house and all those things. <clears throat> Let's keep it that for next time. And uh, I guess I want to say just good luck with the house. If you need any help, <laughs> I'm here with all the buyers. It's a perfect time to buy. I just want to say we are in the historically yeah. low interest rate. Had never been like this before. So we're right on the bottom bottom line again. So I will. I agree. I agree. If you're a buyer, you know what? Put your shoes on and go get shopping. <laughs> get shopping and call Tanya definitely. <laughs> yeah, sure. Call me. I'm available. <laughs> call Tanya, yes. <laughs> okay, Tanya. Thanks a lot, and we'll see each other next Sunday. Thank you. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Bye.